Clearwater, Florida. We're starting to take on a little bit of that strong wind. The tide's getting choppier. Everybody's boat's tied off pretty good. I'm trying to block the wind from the, the phone here. Nobody's home around me. Everybody left me their business card so I can kind of keep an eye on their boat if a rope breaks or something. So. Day, I don't know, around 4 o'clock, the water came up almost over the, the little dock right there. And tonight, it's supposed to go up 2 feet above that right there, so uh, you know, no really getting off the boat after that water level goes that high. So, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll find a fish <laughs> laying on there. So, yeah, pretty bad storm coming. The wind was a little stronger a minute ago, but it's just probably, probably a wind gust from one of the tails of that hurricane. I got my bimini open, so the wind goes through it, so this thing doesn't act like a kite. Give you a look next door here. Up. I'd like to pull myself off this piling a little bit, but I need to do a lot more readjusting with the ropes, but I think I'm pretty safe for right now. I got a bunch down there. I'm going to do a new little ladder to try to get it on and off. So not really what I was hoping for, but I can cut the top off to make some adjustments to the poor dog and get on and off also. Other than that, it's like the leap of fate getting off the boat. But, um, I know a lot of people around here, they don't have their boat tied up very well. I mean, they're just kind of abandoned. This guy next to me right here, take a look at that bumper. It's literally crushed. So that's not going to do them very good. Kind of get an idea of the... That's the gulf out that way. That's facing north. Lower beach. We'll pan you around. Clearwater Beach update. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. We've been through stuff like this before. Get a little choppier, but I mean, it's not too bad right now. I mean, just a couple of minutes ago, it was some serious gust. I thought we were going to get it, but uh, you know, not bad. But other than that, um, that bottom line right there that you see, it'll be it'll be covered in water by uh, one o'clock this morning. And my dock here, it'll be covered in water too, I'm sure. I tied my ladder down so it can't float away. It might, I don't know, it might, I don't know, it should be okay right there. But I'm just kind of keeping an eye on things. So yeah, that water level right there. That bottom rope, down there you see, it'll, it'll be underwater. See that bottom one? It's a, oh yeah, a little bit of thunder. It's the separator for boats right here. Just in case if a, a line breaks loose, you won't go slamming into the other boat, so at least it'll stop it. It's kind of a weak line, but I'm ready. I'm ready. I like to sing that Christopher Cross song right now, you know, Ride Like the Wind. Can ride like the wind to be free. On the run, no time to sleep. I've got to ride, ride like the wind to be free again. <laughs> yeah, I know my singing sucks, but do you hear a little acapella in that? All right, so just a clue what a Florida update. I'm right here, you know, downtown Clearwater at the beach. I don't think it's going to be too bad. I don't think the waves will be too bad. I mean, I think more of waves are going to be really bad out in the ocean. But you can't really see it way out there. But there's these sailboats that, I mean, they're true pirates. They they park right on out there. I mean, unfortunately, they don't have any pilings to run into. But I don't know. I give them credit. All right, so... 
about it. I got some beer. My own little party. Take a look at my bumpers, probably reset them again. Seems like a uh, guy at the bait house told me that the way the boats will shift is going to be they're going to want to go forward. So I like that. I don't like it that we'd be, you know, getting pushed to the side or slammed. You know, we're going to take some waves, but some of these boats right here, they'll kind of protect me. This guy here, he doesn't have any bumpers on the side of his boat for that piling. But uh, that one rope that he's got right there, that long one, that thing's stretched to the maximum. I mean, we're gonna go through high tide and the boats are all gonna come up, so he'll have some slack, but I installed myself another black rope on there. My son would have been proud to watch me do that. I uh, hooked myself up a huge pull apparatus like a painter's pole and then I attached a hook to the end of it and I stood on the back platform here held that thing up and swung it right over top I believe in you dad I can hear you Cameron all right so wish me luck tonight I'm sure I'll be fine our matey good captain always goes down with his ship